Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the Divide Weekly Contest 57, the number of smallest unoccupied chair. So this one has two uh, things you have to consider, but otherwise it's what I call a bookkeeping problem. And so, yeah, you should hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let me know what you think about this problem, the contest, and so forth. Um, if you're interested in talking about the contest right after the contest, my Discord is the place to be. Anyway. So yeah, so this one's bookkeeping, and what is bookkeeping? It's, it's not an algorithm, it's just basically keeping track of everything and where they are at every time, and then make sure everyone gets updated in a good way. So in this case, the two parts of that one is bookkeeping, the other is kind of making sure that the, um, you, you're able to process the, the times away in, in order, right? In the arrival and the leaving and so forth. So that's basically, um, it's not quite sweep line, but that's how I thought about it, and that's how I think about these is a, a defense sweep out type thing. Um, I keep a sorted list. You can actually use a heap in this instead, to be honest, but I, I, this is easier to type sometimes, so that's how I think about it. Um, and yeah, so now we, of this sorted list will contain every available chair. Um, so here we we add every or every available chair from zero to n or n minus one sorry and then here we have the defense part where we basically want to sort by whether the index person is going to be um, sitting down or getting up so that's basically here we put it in the sorted defense so that we could keep process of it this negative one is actually um, intentional in that we wanted to process the leaving events before the starting events on the tiebreaker um, because, well, because that's, that's what they tell you. Um, like here it tells you that when a friend leaves, the chair becomes unoccupied at the moment, right? So yeah, so that's why we did it that way. And then the, the rest is just keeping track. We keep track of what seat um, a person used. If we get up, we, we add that seat back to the available seat. So SL is maybe available seats. Maybe that's a better variable, but of course, these are my contest codes. So it's a little bit yucky. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, so then otherwise, take the smallest um, available seat. And as I said before, you can actually use a heap because you're only getting the min heap every time or the min minimum element of the heap every time. So, and then you remove it at the very end uh, or you remove it from the available seats. And also, if the index is the target friend, you return what seat they took. That's pretty much it. Um, this is going to be n log n because this sorting is n log n. Um, yeah, and of course, here for each event, it's also going to take log n operation each. So everything is pretty n log n e. So that's just called n, n log n. And in terms of space, this is going to be linear space. Um, this is also going to be linear space. So, oh, and this is also linear space. So everything is linear space. Um, that's all I have for this one. Watch me, you can watch me solve it live during the contest next. Mm -hmm. That lag cost me like a 20 second submit.
I'll leave him time. Hmm. Okay. So we leave first. Okay. So we will leave this. Wait, what? That's not right. Another. Am I doing? That's not the right. I'm a little bit slow today, I guess. But as long as we're right, we'll be okay. That's not right. Oh, what's that too? Is that two? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I am done today. Why did I take the biggest seat instead of the lower? Okay. Hopefully that's right. Okay. A little bit slow today, but um. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. 
uh, yeah, hope you do well and stay good, stay cool. I will see you later. Bye bye.